Gavin, what we doing? We're going on a hunt, my first hunt. What kind of hunt? An elk hunt. Any bull, general elk. season, Utah elk hunt. Gonna go hike up to this spot. Tanner, Gavin, and myself. Brock is also with us. We're gonna go hiking in this area. Have we seen anything so far? Nope, only a 12. No. It's been rough go. It's hot. We're new to where we're going. New to this hunt. But it gets out. If this doesn't pan out, the youth tags can go hunt the spike and we'll go do that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Thinking about just this year of hunting and, and getting my boys more involved. I've always been a hunter. I've taken my boys on some. A lot of them they've they've stayed back just because it's a little bit of a struggle taking kids with you. But when I think as a parent, uh, my desire and I think just about every other parent's desires is to raise children who are an additive to society um, and not a negative. And honestly, I can't think of a better way um, to help teach them life lessons than being in the outdoors for my children. And so get them away from, you know, TV and other media type things. Get them where in God's creations, right? And gets us more in line and in one with our surroundings and the awe of, of everything. So what are we doing? We found a, my dad found a shed and we're going to get it. Yeah, we got sidetracked, didn't we? Yeah, but on the bright side, we already got to where we need to be, so. Yeah, you can see it right up there. Let's go get it. Look at that thing. That thing is big. Oh my goodness. Not three, Dad. Four, four. I knew it was a good one. Huge. Over here. What uh what concoction do you have there? Um I'm I'm you told me that it, these acorns is what the deer and elk like, so I'm just cracking a bunch of them so they can eat because there's not much population. The more they eat, the more they grow bigger with their kind. Nice. Jeez. And the job. fatter the meat will be. And plus, random grab fact, if you can find the right acorn and smash it open, possibilities are there's a grub inside. Not inside this one. Let's check the next one. Let's you found see. a few of them though, huh? Now that you're going to let them out, they don't want to come out. <laughs> but they've been wanting to. Jeez. Oh my goodness, I collect more than I thought I did. <laughs> Well, there's one more little one in here. Jesus! Okay, Gav, tell me, tell me about your first tag that you've had. How's it been? It's been fun. All of these have not been really great. Yeah. Day three, by the way. Yeah, it's day three. This kid's got some bad allergies, but doesn't like to take medicine, so he's toughening it out. What happened yesterday? 
Well, yesterday was just awesome. So, what happened is that over on that hill over there, we were scoping it over by this tree, and we decided to move down this ridge a bit, and all of a sudden, elk just come out of nowhere on that hill, and we're just, like, trying to get good enough shot on it, and we're like, well, dang, we should have stayed in the same spot, because that would have been a really good clear shot. Yeah. Just kind of made a unfortunate decision as far as timing of it. But, uh, yeah, the, in the morning we also had that spike that we called in. Called him in. He was like 650 yards away. We started cow calling. And he come right to us. And uh, gave us an opportunity at about 80 yards. But we had a hard time getting the scope on him with the situation. And, and uh, then he snuck out and... There was some hunters above us that were driving through at the same time. I think it kind of spooked them. And anyway, they ended up shooting at them. Hopefully they they got them. I mean, they shot 12 times. We, we really counted it, and it was 12 times. So I feel pretty, pretty fortunate because we've never done the any bull before. And... We thought if we'd see elk, we'd be lucky, huh? And how many elk have we saw so far? Um, let's see. Around four, maybe? Yeah, four, five. No, we actually saw six. Oh six my. total, huh? Um, a few spikes as far as bulls go. But uh, we found that, and then we found a pretty cool set of deer sheds. So we've had a good time. Missing school today, huh? Yeah. Cool. All right, Gavin, what are we doing? Heading up to Fish Lake. Heading up to Fish Lake. Go chase some more elk. Gonna go to the family cabin and get it winterized. Join the massive crowds to watch the eclipse. Uh, yep. Remember how many people they say are supposed to be coming down for this? No, I was never told. It said like the roadways to expect like 300,000 people oh to come goodness. just from all over. So. But we'll be in the pathway of totality. Is that what they call it? Yes. That means we'll get the front row seat, technically. Front row seat. We got our glasses, and we are ready to roll. So. Do you see them? Let's see. Oh, I see them. I see them. Far. Yeah. And they're on private property, right? I'm pretty sure they are. Well, that sucks. Just capturing the moment. Can't get the tour bus though. It's behind the trees. Is that where the music is coming from? No. No? Uh uh. I'd give you a little idea. Um, 
the sheds that we found during the general season elk hunt, any bull hunt, um, ended up buying this antler tech uh, skull to mount them on. And let me just say, I would recommend it. I know it's not, not cheap, but you get what you pay for. My boy really likes like sheds and since he was with me um, when we found that we and he didn't have a tag this year so I have two boys uh, one is old enough to hunt in about every state the other one there's a little bit more restrictions so let him have this for his birthday and that's up in his room pretty cool anyway uh, just getting ready to head out for Colorado tomorrow. I'm going to leave early in the morning. When I think about this hunt, because of course deer hunting is, in my opinion, it is different than elk hunting. Your potential for success is a little bit better, but we're not going to be picky as far as the deer that, that we try and get for him. Between my boy, me, and my brother, there's three tags, and honestly, I'm I'm totally fine not getting anything. Uh, I just wanted the tag. Luckily, got the tag through the reissue process. But I just wanted the tag just in case a giant comes out. You never know with Colorado. So I'm excited. We're going to hopefully finish packing up before it gets too late. It's, it's Halloween. And so that's a little bit tough too. But get on the road and have a good time. Feeling better? Teach you to eat so much candy. You gonna be comfortable like that, Tanner? Yeah. No. Shorts and boots? With, no. Oh. But this is too small. That's too small? You getting Stop too big? We're 20 hey 2023 deer camp underway my second hunt the elk hunt was a bust but hey this is a deer hunt hopefully we'll be easier yep hopefully deer hunt will do a little bit better but just getting our preparations finished and we are going to Dad, head out <laughs> gavin there's a bull elk over there bull elk yeah you can buy an over-the-counter tag here it's just a lot of money but oh it might be, it's either a four or a five it's not very big in comparison to what we've shot but. first full day morning November 2nd. Yesterday was eventful. We took our six or seven hour drive to get here. Tanner man puked up half his bag of Halloween candy. <laughs> We're up in Colorado. Colorado. Saw a giant buck. He's on private. Passed a little spike last night. Good morning. There's a four. <clears throat> Go zip up there and I'll just video it from here. Whoa, Ian. Stay from your spike out. This year, huh? Is it good? Yeah. <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about today. Um, Do we see deer? Yeah. We see some box. Couple. 
We just weren't able to get on them, huh? Did you guys eat some candy? Yeah. No. <laughs> At least he held it down with it. Yeah. Did you stay warm? No, barely. Barely? Warmer than last night? Uh uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh uh. Are you harassing the deer? <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Okay. Don't harass the deer. Dude, good shot, man. Gavin. What? What'd you just do? Shot a buck. Shot a deer. Yeah. Just going to give it a minute, make sure that he doesn't get back up, huh? Here's a good hit, though. Yeah, nice shot, Gavin. It was also a nice hit since he, he was giving me the... Just walking up toward Gavin. Shot this buck. We've not seen it, so we're thinking it's still, still there, dead somewhere. He's either dead, or he probably got up when we didn't see him and ran away. But that, like well, zero dose, is probably unlikely. Yeah, I think where those deer sat here and waited, I think they didn't want to go without him. But I'm realizing that he, he ain't coming. It was a good shot. Well, Gav, I think he's done. Go walk up to your first buck. I'm not oh, going to walk on. up right up to it if he's the gun's right at me. He's actually... Make sure you see him and get him right, right in the back of the neck. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's done now. Kind of a hard watching that sometimes, huh? Yeah. Okay, Gav, get your hands on your first buck. I don't know exactly. Just either. lift his head up for a minute and then we'll get him. He caught under the sage. Yeah. Just get it, rip it out from under the sage. There you go. Got more points than my first buck. They only have one point. Yeah, there's a spike. Cool. Gavin notching his tag. See if he remembers what I told him. I can't, I just can't. Watch your thumb, dude.
So what are you guys doing right now? <laughs> well, cutting up Gavin's deer, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And there's a bunch of blood right there. Right there. Oh, we part. Okay, something just happened. What do you mean? Something's blocking up the camera. Take that off, don't lose that, okay? Yeah. Nice little two point we got. Say what? I'm talking, buddy. I'm talking. And we started way up there and saw the buck cross the road when we were going to a spot. And we just got on him and Shot him and made a play on him. Pretty nice. And here's the hunter that killed him. So, how was it, Gavin, for you? For me to kill it? Yeah. Uh, was exciting. A little bit of an adrenaline rush. Also kind of sad. Those are all good feelings, Gav. Do you like uh, cutting up deer? Dad, what's, do you like cutting up deer? Do I like cutting up deer? Yeah. Uh, deer is a lot easier than elk, let's put it that way. <laughs> he hates it. But, I don't hate it. Oh, yeah. oh there, here comes the ugly part. Don't mind me, it's just very ugly. Kids cannot look at this part. Ooh! <gasps> I switched it around, whoops! Huh? I just cut this? No, if you can keep it, that's actually best, because then you can look. Try to keep things as clean as we can. How about you go get me a game bag? Is this how big game bags are supposed to be? That one's an elk one, but it's okay. Two pointers. Uh, All day. But we see some big bucks. We just shot this one just to get one this time, but next time we'll probably get Gavin a good one if he gets tagged. But, yeah. Where's the back one going? <laughs> They always that struggle is. with the back ones. Makes no sense. It should be easy. younger than him but that must be the four point that those guys were talking about it was just dang that other four point's not bad either you guys don't want it it looks a lot smaller
What you up to, Tanner? What? I said, what you up to? We're racing all sides of deer so we can get to the deer first. Oh, okay. You had a much better plan than I thought. <laughs> boys being boys. I feel bad because I stopped it for part of it. Oh boy. You know, he's got a lot of cool stuff going on. But I bet you, I don't know how he compares to that 3x4 as far as height and all that. Yeah, he is cool. I really like that four point. This seemed more impressive to me the other day, though. Maybe it's just kids. Still getting sweet. Oh, yeah. But he kind of looks. Young in the face turned that way. Well, we are the last day of the second season 2023 Colorado mule deer hunt. We had a successful hunt because Gavin got his first deer. Yep. Would you say that, that was your most exciting part of the hunt? Yeah. Is that what you were telling me? Yeah. Very first deer. You can never, never forget your first, right? Um, right now, we're just making a last ditch effort. Having Brock walk down a canyon, we're watching down below in case he jumps anything out. And we'll pick him up and we'll go pack up and leave. But. It's been a slower hunt in comparison to the other times we've been in Colorado. It's been super hot during the day. Maybe that's played a factor. Um, we've seen a couple, a couple good bucks, but they were on private and no intentions of coming off it feels like so they know they know that they can't they know the hunters can't hunt there yeah they just know they know smart passed on a, a lot of two points and small three points but we just we never never had a f opportunity at a four point that was on public ground it was, he like said, different than the last few years hunting Colorado. See Big Turtle through the mountain. What? What? That like, one's uh, actually pretty decent. It's got a cool curl. That's cool. You don't see that every day. Off the road. Huh. That's cool. I'm in Utah. I'm in Colorado. I'm in Utah. I'm in Colorado. I'm in Utah. <laughs>